A lawsuit filed in federal court this week alleges the Georgia Board of Regents underfunded three public historically black colleges and universities, including Fort Valley State University. It's a story we've been covering since last month. Jessica Chaw visited Fort Valley State's campus today to talk to students about the funding disparity. People go to HBCUs like Fort Valley State University for different reasons. Because it's close to home. They treat you as family and I felt like I'd be in a good place here. But a lot of the time, it's because... I wanted to be around like-minded individuals and people that look like me. In different spaces, I may not be looked at as equal. For plaintiffs filing a lawsuit in federal court against the University System of Georgia, they say funding for HBCUs are historically unequal. They say black land-grant universities have been overlooked and starved of resources. The problem with our parking lot and how it's not enough room for everyone. Freshman and math major Sierra Young says she knows equal funding could benefit the campus, like a bigger parking lot for everyone. It's actually a $5 million project and we don't have the money for it. For Fort Valley, the lawsuit says the same programs at their school are offered at universities like Middle Georgia State, which is only 40 minutes away. It says it prevents their student growth and expansion of programs, which includes finding and affording teachers for programs on a smaller budget. Like my roommates, where they can't schedule the classes they need for next semester because they don't have a teacher. Muhammad says UGA and Fort Valley State are Georgia's only land grant institutions. We both have good fields in agriculture and we both help the state of Georgia in a substantial way. Why not Fort Valley State get as much funding as a PWI like UGA? It's to give an equal fighting chance. We have many black doctors, black lawyers, and to continue to push this out into the world would be great. Glad to be around people who understand me or who are just like me. In Fort Valley, Jessica Cha, 13 David MAZ News. We reached out to both the University System of Georgia and the Georgia Department of Education for comment. Now, they're both defendants in the lawsuit. They said they have not been served documents and could not comment.